Hello Gucci's fam, welcome back. Today we'll be taking you on how to make your Ofe Oweri soup, the Gucci's way. So hope you stay till the end of this video to see the outcome of this beautiful soup. Thank you. Thank you so much for saying to that was a good dance right here. <laughs> That's your way dance. The Omunani from Oweri Kingdom, our wonderful family. Yes, today on this video, I'm going to show you my recipe for Oweri. Oweri. That was why I gave you that little dance introduction. You can see how Emanuela was whining, 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 and I was whining, whining, because that is the only way of doing it. So here in this recipe, yes, this is the, the key, the key, the key to the door. Yeah, Eddie, Eddie. And for this very kind of awful weary soup, you look for the Eddie that has this red, the special, uh, type of ed you can see this is the red ed yes here i have already blended one 
You know, for whatever recipe, you can use Archie to combine your edi. Yes. And here is my Oziza leaf. In this very recipe, I have three vegetables. I have Oziza leaf. These are dry leaves. Mind you, I brought them out from my freezer. I allowed them to defrost, wash them properly, and then set them up for the job. This is water leaf. Already um, washed. Everything here is nice, clean, and washed. This is water leaf. This is uh, Okazi leaf. And here is my stockfish, the, uh, you know, the biscuit type of it. And here is my dried, my smoked fish. And here is the okoroko. Yes, you need this in this very recipe. Tried. And here is my scotch bonnet, my maggi to season. And here is my dry, uh, dried pepper, which here yeah, I'm going to be using dried pepper in this very ofowere recipe. And here is my ogiri, guys. Yeah, you need ogiri in ofowere. Yes, you need it. Hey, I already washed this with water. You all know this is a this is a very um hard cut, very very hard. So I went ahead to soak it, and um, I'm just going to drop it in this boiling wa hot water, and then I will add some more water to you know allow it cook until it is very very soft yes until it is very very soft so you want to put any seasoning no this is a wonderful fish on its own that has a very good taste when you put it in your soup oh my goodness you if you always watch my video you see that i use most of the time i use this very well my beef skin here i have cow feet here you can see already uh i've gone ahead to wash them and i allowed it to defrost i have cow feet and I have, I have a uh, beef tri. So sorry, the uh, steam is too much. My goat meat already cooking. I already uh, put this goat meat and I allowed it to bring its own liquid because you know goat meat is just like um, uh, beef. When you allow it to give you its own liquid, I mean you're gonna like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop the beef tri straight away. Go ahead and add one more seasoning to taste here right away. For the soup, I'm going to make sure it cooks your meats properly. I'm going to add some more. You add until it's, it's you know, above the protein. Yeah, the water has to be above the protein. Yeah, you mix all together. And then here you want to taste to see. Yeah, because the taste of the of the the, the meat is what is going to make your soup look good. The taste beautiful. So you want to add one more to give it a nice taste. Adding my my um Biscuit stockfish. Yes, that's what I want to go ahead to do to allow the smell and everything. Yeah, yeah, already washed it so and it's right up and allow it to cook. Cook until the meat is soft because here we have goat meat. Here, you all know sometimes you have a female goat meat, sometimes you have a male goat meat. The male goat meat, one time they are cooked. But the female goat meat, if you're, if you're not lucky enough and you got the female goat meat, I mean, it's not going to cook quickly. So that's why you want to let it cook until you come back to check and see if it's soft, then you will, you, you trust it's a male goat meat. So I'll let it cook until I just go ahead to get my hand ready before I start making my soup. That's why so many of you don't know the kind of chicken I use for my soup. Yes, I use hen. Most mostly I use hen and I combine it with like beef tribe, cow feet, um beef skin, goat meat, and whatever I have at home. For some time I will run out of goat meat and um, as God we have it, I sent somebody to help me get a little bit so I can use to add up with my um mind you um 
I forgot to tell you this. In this very soup recipe, you can add um, what is it called again? Congo meat, uh, which is snail, or you can add periwinkle. But you all know sometimes you don't get what you want in the store. We are here in abroad, and um, it's not every time you go to the store close by us that you get everything you want. I actually uh, requested for um, um, snail, but I mean they couldn't get me one, so I have to go ahead to make this soup with what I have. So you can as well go ahead and make this soup with whatever type of protein you have, but you just have to make it a little bit traditional because this is one of the best rich soup for the high and mighty in Oweri land. So just try to, you know, I mean, go, go about it with whatever you have, but make sure it takes, yes, because here um, I want to get that um, roasted taste in this very soup. Yes, so I'll go ahead and I'll smoke this chicken. By the time it comes out, uh, somebody requested for me to make a video on how you can grill your mackerel before using it to make soup and all that so i have an um an uncle he's my husband uncle he run out of dried fish yes just like myself and then he requested i make a video for him on how he can grill um you know mackerel fish to use so i made that video and um i i, I showed it to I, I mean i gave him the link to that video and then um he, he gave me some of this and said I should go ahead and, be, and grill it myself for him. So that's why you're seeing this. So I just want to show you, you know, for, so, for some of you who have not seen my video on um, how to grill your mackerel fish. Yes, this is basically how you can grill it. It doesn't take you nothing. All you need to do is to boil hot water, throw your mackerel fish, put some lemon and lime, boil it for like five minutes more make sure the water is properly boiled even before you put your mackerel fish and then boil it for like five minutes more and then bring it out bring all the lemon and lime out of it and then grill it and that's it just curl is very sweet naturally so you don't want to put so much seasoning just put a little bit of salt in the hot water and that's all for the mackerel fish yeah so i just want to show you this so stay tuned please if you're just stopping by i want to say thank you for watching this video Gucci team I love you all as much as well as you all know so so much please stay tuned and let's finish up this video together this video is I mean it's taking some strength out of me I'm tired already yeah because I I had other things I you know I had to go to the hospital in the morning came back I actually forgot I was supposed to cook soup and it's a special suit, you know, so I just said, okay, let me take you guys along. But it's taking some strength out of me, so I just want to, here yeah, you can see I have my my uh, scotch bonnet, red onion, I want to pour it into the protein. But uh, I'll just go ahead and add the, um, I'll add the ogili to it and I'll blend it together until it is well combined, because at this point, that the soup is boiling you want to put your ogili i told you guys i'm managing this ogili so i'm going to be adding just this later yeah i was going to use this to pound the the pepper and the um and the ogili just to you know stir it all together but um like i said I have to rest. So these are all I got in this soup. It's a whole lot. I've gone ahead to put the, the stock fish. Yeah, I've broken some into it because I want it to cook until it is very, very soft. So I just want to add this too. to add the, the dried fish yeah so everything can marry each other 
like you hear in this kitchen. So, hold on. So here this, this is all properly cooked. I want to go ahead and add outfit. Yeah, I'll add the water because this is a, a big pot of soup. Yeah. Time. The soup is, you can see there's a lot inside the soup already and um, there is no space in this soup. As a matter of fact, I will just go ahead and add this. Yes, stir it together. This is the dried one, remember? You stir, you... You don't want to put too much. Well, it's a big pot of soup anyway, like I told you all. So... cook this to make sure it lasts us for some time yeah I'm going to be adding some more water a lot a huge pot of soup I'll mix everything together So I have uh, a particular bottle of oil I used before. The oil is uh, the oil is finished. So what I did was to I just warmed up this with some water in it, and also the oil can just come out before I throw the can away. Yes, you don't want to waste anything because this is really expensive to buy here. So. You want to make sure you you put some water into the bottle and get your oil out of it. Keep boiling, forming the thickening. So I'm going to add some more oil. Yeah. Yeah. Close it up. Everything to you know caramelize together. Yes. Before you put all that things. By the way, my chicken is still baking. Yeah. The chicken that will be in this soup is still baking, so I'm just trying to go ahead with other things so if you if you know how to make a onubu soup basically it's the same it's the same with food. so by the time it's properly uh, grilled I'm gonna shred it into pieces and pour it into the soup because it's going for this soup yes so but I just went ahead to go ahead making the soup at the time the chicken is out, I will shred it and pour it in. Yeah, I have enough protein in the soup already. Just want to make sure I have enough meat because um, it's a big pot of soup. Yeah, that will last us for some time. Yeah, guys, the chicken is ready until it is cold. And then I'll shred it to, my, uh, to the chunks of my choice. And then I'll throw it into the soup. So let's hold on. Good. I just want to let it pull off. See? This is really good. Please hold on till the end of this video. Hope you're liking it already. Let me know what you eat this soup with. Is it fufu or is it a bar? Or is yeah, I mean apple? or semolina or wheat just let me know in the comment section let's share you know minds together let's rub our minds hmm. 
if this thing wonders. If you like the way I went about it, let me know in the comments section. Yeah. The chicken is tender and um, oh yeah, tasty. Very, very delicious. Imagine what it's going to look like in that soup. It's really hot, but I had to end up this video. Mm -hmm. Probably likes it very tender in the soup. So I had to go about. This way. To make sure I get him a beautiful over a soup. I'm going to get some wonderful special kisses today. You know, he's been working very hard, so he deserves to eat a very good, sumptuous delicacy. I didn't tell him I was going to make him soup today, but I know he was already looking at the fridge. Oh, there's no soup in this house. Yeah. If you're liking this video already please let me know in the comment section make sure you share to your friends and loved ones really i should have done this you know without showing you guys but then i said no i want to carry you guys along from the beginning to the end so you can see all the effort i'm putting that's why if you have not subscribed yet, you have to just do that. What are you waiting for? If you have not subscribed till this point, with all that special dance of weary people that uh, Emmanuel and I did. <laughs> How about that, guys? Yes, you have to subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up, give me a thumbs up, give me a thumbs up, please. Share to the whole world. I'm trying to be careful here. I told you guys it's a huge pot of soup. With all of those beautiful goodness. You can see no space. Yeah, that is the consistency I want. Give it a little bit stir. Vegetable. That is your kazi. That should be the first vegetable to go in. Your kazi should be the first. You don't want to crowd it with so much vegetable. This is not the kind of soup you want to crowd with so much vegetable. Yeah. Yeah. In your offer we read as what I leave you know. I'm staring and I'm trying to make sure there's no much. Here is my Ozezals. This is a, a very good native leaf that helps your body is very healthy. Gather and let it all combine and then you cover it to cook for say. 10 more minutes and your ofo where it is ready guys see how how wonderful my pot is looking see how <laughs> sumptuous no space in this whole pot of greatness oh see my stockfish is tender now yes see yes oh my Goodness, Gucci's. This is sumptuous. It's 
ready, 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 ready. Yeah. Turn off your lights. Yes. And then it's time to dish your Oweri soup. This is the consistency. I bet you next time when you want to eat it, you see, it will be more thicker than this. Yes, I will still love it and enjoy. I will still love it and enjoy. Oh, Lord. This is a good soup for your hobby and for your friends and family. Yeah. Mm. My hobby will be shocked because he will not believe I've gone ahead to make him this special soup. He will, he will be like, wow. Yes. I'll do anything for him because he deserves it. He is wonderful. Yeah, just get his soup ready. He will soon be back. So you just want to get it ready. Your bowls and set it out to cool off. You let it cool off and then you put it in your freezer. You eat it gently. Gently. Mm -hmm. I'll make the gary here. Yeah, make it under. Yep. You would like to use to eat this wonderful soup. Yeah, we are going ahead to make the garden. Hope you will soon be home. Yeah. Let me know what you think and let me see your comment in the comment section. Thank you all so, so much for staying till the end of this video. We love you all so, so much. Be kind, be loving, be merciful. God loves the merciful. You all are special, Gucci team. If you're just stopping by, a very big thank you. You all stay blessed. Thank you. Bye. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Gucci's Kitchen. Bye.